Whoa! Still not sure if I should have a warning for this video because it deals with a lot of touchy subjects and a lot of things that YouTube doesn't want us to talk about, but I think that it's something that we should talk about. I think we've all seen the video of uh, Lincoln Park's return. Yeah. I, I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, this is not a salty moldy video, but his son, one of his sons, slams who is now Linkin Park, which is basically all the other people's minus the drummer and the new singer for continuing on without him. Mike Shinoda and I think Joe Hahn are the ones that like basically take over the business aspects of it. So yeah, they can play their power chords and drop D in peace. But they have decided after Chester tragically self-deleted in 2017, leaving behind a wife and like a, quite a few kids to just call it quits. That would have been the right decision, in my opinion. But no, they decided to resurrect because I guess nobody else has anything else going on and they can just ride that clout hammer all the way down into hopefully uh, more success. I don't think it's going to pan out that way for them. I think they're just going to get mocked, ridiculed, and shoved into the ground. This is going to be the death knell. You know, there's just... I'm not even going to talk about, like, old sayings and everything, like, sleep, let sleeping dogs lie, but, like, we lost one of the greats. Now, like them, love them, hate them, indifferent to Linkin Park as a band, or if you didn't even like the music or, like, whatever, you have to give Chester Bennington respect. Because they basically took the whole 2000s, radio, new metal, rock. They basically took the whole 2000s era and made it their own. They were the forefront of everything. Also, one reason, so I've, I've played in a lot of bands as well uh, in my earlier years. And also done frontman duties, singing and screaming. Chester's ability to go from throat voice to lung voice to head voice to completely clean, that is no easy task, and that does not come natural. That comes with a lot of work, perseverance, and training. And in order for him to that, them to have gone on for so long without him effing it up, good gracious, man, always got to give that dude respect. But his son, Jamie, does not like that they tried to uh, have a resurgence and replacing his father with a woman during international self-deletion prevention month oh my goodness these people are fucking blind if they thought this was a good idea or if they didn't think at all and that's kind of what i think i think they're only seeing dollar signs they are not thinking about the repercussions and like the impact that any of this is going to have. Now, there is more stuff. And I'm like, there's a lot of these words I can't say on YouTube, but you can read them if you want. Um, so the new singer apparently has ties with the Church of Scientology. Um, that's to me, neither here nor there, unless it's sponsored by them. Support of Danny Masters is something different, and that's a dude from that 70s show who, as we all know, 30 years to life for um, multiple essay crimes and found convicted. Yeah, two women. Uh, mm, I, yeah, I'm not going to speculate on this stuff. But here's there's also a whole bunch of things. She's been called out on it. And then what she automatically did, as anyone would do, is just backtrack. Wanted to clear the air. I was asked to support someone in court. And now I realize I shouldn't have said all these great things about it. Well, that means you actually believe it. So you can't backtrack about that right now. You really can't. Yeah, they're all, they're just trying to sweep everything that's happened under the rug they're trying to be like I, I think it's all about dollar signs to them 
I don't think they actually care about the art. I don't know if they have for a long time. And you know what it kind of reminds me of is that Disney movie Coco, where like once you're forgotten, you're truly gone. Once no one thinks of you anymore. I don't think Mike Shinoda or the rest of the members of Lincoln Park really remember Chester and everything he was anymore because they have completely just disrespected his legacy everything that they built and created together and chester was the front man so like everyone knows them more than they know y'all uh it's just i think it's blatant and utter disrespect and good gracious may god have mercy on their souls this this is just this is despicable behavior in my opinion the the son does i want to uh, end with the son's words like you, now you're just senile and tone deaf and that's a banger and it truly encapsulates how most of the fans feel and i'm not even a fan but like i said respect is given where respect is due respect is earned and when respect is due and chester earned my respect for everything this is he sums this up perfectly they're senile and tone deaf dollar signs aren't all they're cut out to be guys they really 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 aren't yes it's nice to have but you know at the disrespect of not only a family but a man that y'all proclaimed to love and spent so much time with and like now well seven years have passed lucky number seven i guess now we'll come out and just this it wasn't even a good performance either it sounded terrible but those are my thoughts i uh, felt like we need to get this off my chest let me know what y'all think in the comments like share subscribe to the gca we are everything entertainment so like if anything pops up in pop culture or media that catches our attention We'll do videos on it, or we'll talk to you about it. Like, y'all can talk to us, too. My DMs are open. It's multi-maldi. And until next time, peace. R.I.P. Chester.